title of this video is The Cure to Depression. What exactly is the cure to depression? It is simply to get away from the source of the depression. Okay? Get away from the source of the depression, take a break from the stress, take a break from the negativity, the evil. If you're living with a toxic family member, try your best to avoid that person. Appear busy, okay? Appear busy, appear to be doing something because toxic people are afraid and they fear high energy okay they fear high energy individuals and by displaying high energy by appearing busy you don't have to be you know busy as if uh, extremely you know physically involved and things like that it's you could be you know hey i'm busy i'm doing this i'm busy i'm doing that and actually showing that person that toxic person that you are really busy okay you don't have time for, for him or her then you, you're, you're on your way, you, you, you just initiated the first step into recovery, initiated the first step into getting away from that person as much as possible, okay? The next step is, so the first step is just to cut them off, okay? The next step is go in nature, okay? We, are, we as, a hum, as human beings, we are not supposed to be cooped up like chickens in a house, okay? We're not supposed to be animals. And notice what happens to animals when they put them in zoos. And notice when you take the elephant out of the jungle. Notice when you take the lion out of its own habitat, okay? Immediately, that animal becomes violent. And why are we surprised that there's violent people, okay? Humans are supposed to live with nature. Not against nature, but with nature. Your ancestors have lived in nature for hundreds and hundreds of years. Civilization is really early. It's really, you know, industrialization, this quote-unquote age of information, the age of enlightenment it, it's early man it's really early and our bodies our human bodies you know you cannot fool your body into thinking that you are eating healthy food by eating foods loaded with artificial sweeteners artificial whatever flavorings and, you know additives and things like that you, you cannot you know you cannot fool your body and your body will starve of nutrients and is it gonna think that it's that it should die, that it should, you know, that it should suffer, that it should go in hibernation mode. That's why you don't have the energy that you had when you were younger, okay? But if you really want to get rid of your depression, and, and you know, dietary is also a cause of that. Your stomach, your digestive system, the enzymes in your bacteria, enzymes in your, and enzymes in your stomach are not happy with... You know, and enzymes are organisms, okay? They're not happy with the food that you're eating. And also, where you are living, your living conditions, your artificial living conditions, which, are, which is uh, man-made, which is the farthest away from nature, then you will get into depression, okay? How do I know that nature, you know, traveling, you know, if you cannot afford to travel, you, know, you cannot afford the cheapest ticket to Mexico or somewhere outside of the United States. Just go for a walk, a nature walk. Go to the beach. You know, you live in California. I live in California. I would go to the beach. I would go hike in the mountains. You know, I would go somewhere else. Go to a quiet park. You know, go to somewhere isolated. So you could take a break from socialization. Especially if you're socializing with toxic people, man. Toxic, fake people are en masse here. You know, in, in America, okay? 
because a majority of people here try to fit in they try to put their feet in you put your right feet in you put your right left feet up I mean it's that nursery rhyme and things like that it's you know it applies to them because immediately upon meeting them they're like oh I wonder if this guy's uh, li uh, liberal or conservative or they, they try to guess your affiliation based on you know your appearance based on the way you talk based on the way you communicate based on your you know on a small minuscule part of you and they, they judge you based on what they see on the surface but they don't even know even know you personally and then they try to lump you and you know they try to assume that you have a hive mind too just like them you know and things like that it's it's toxic man you need to take a break from america if you, especially if you're you know a single man a bachelor man you know a man going your own way <laughs> you gotta take a break from this mess man and the the cure to depression i'm telling you is go out and unattach yourself to what is causing it okay and what they are making you do out here in America is, is something that's unnatural and your body knows it okay your body your mind and body is have been a product of thousands of years thousands and hundreds or hundreds of years of evolution you know evolving with with nature living in nature okay living with nature and what do you see here what exactly do you see on your monitors right now you, know, you see a pickup truck you see a uh, rail tracks you see traffic light you see you know see some uh, simp palm trees on the corner right there you see a road you see everything that's man-made that's not you know it's not natural even these trees here like somebody planted them there man so you see what I'm saying the, the trees are dying L look at the trees see it, it's brown and you know it's in January and, you know it's really hot outside because man it's I'm telling you the weather is crazy because we're doing things against nature we're doing things that we're not supposed to be doing you know and I think it's a it's a lie okay I do think and I do believe it's a lie that the, what the medical community is assuming that oh we're living longer oh we're living longer bullshit bull fucking shit we're living longer my aunts you know two of my actually one two there's three of my aunts and two of my uncles that already died before the age of 60 they died when they're 50 man so how are you gonna tell me people are living longer you're a freaking liar see what I'm saying it's you cannot I'm telling you you cannot lie to an INFJ I'm an INFJ personality I can see right through your lie I can see right through your commercials through the BS that you tell everybody I can see right through that I observe things as if I am a CIA agent as if I am an FBI agent okay I can even outdo these people that work in the CIA and FBI the INFJ is the ultimate truth detector you know upon seeing somebody I already know what that person does for a living what that person you know have been through the vibe that that person gives me it's all about vibe it's all about energy okay I can sense an energy I can sense a nervous energy I can sense aggressive energy happy energy depressed energy okay the majority of people I sense here in California they're really anxious and like really you know depressed and it reflects on the way it reflects on the way they drive okay passive aggressive you know unsure whether they are gonna turn left or turn right they will change lanes you know suddenly you know it's it's not just here it's also around the world man it's around the world you know it's not just here toxic people are not just here in America it's also around the world Asia you know India it's everywhere man this thing it's an epidemic okay the narcissism epidemic that I have spoken about in the past you know 
this thing is serious, okay? It's like a zombie virus or something. So the cure to depression is really to travel. Okay, that's why I, I named my channel Ban Travels. Because that's what I'm about to do. Okay, I've traveled in the past. You've seen on my videos, okay? I'm always, I've always been a, an adventurer, man. Like, I've always seeked adventure. Kind of a, a little unusual for, you know, for an INFJ and things like that. But, you know, since I'm adopted, you know, I don't have any choice but to associate, associate myself with reality. You know, treat reality as my family, okay? Whoever listens to this video and, you know, uh, and really understand what I'm trying to say in my videos, it's, it's basically my family. You know, I'm adopted. I don't have any family. You are my family, okay? You, people listening to these videos. So, you know, I'm going to be traveling soon. And it's not because I'm depressed. It's because that, that's, that's the way it is. You know, I, I don't feel that this country is really serving my needs and it's really, you know, giving me what I actually, you know, work hard for. And I'm not, I'm not getting my money's worth in this country. See what I'm saying? It's, and I already did my time in the military, you know. They made, me, they made promises to me that they have broke, they are broken, okay. So, that could even be, you know, a, a lawsuit. You know, for you know, when it comes to legal matters and things like that, because they have promised me things, but they they never, you know, they never really gave me anything. And those uh, promises, they never never really followed up what they promised to me. So, you know, but that's that's gonna be another video that I would make in the you know near future. And that's it for this video. It's Ben Travels.